Good evening, everybody. I want to offer you a warm welcome to our Year 5-6 open evening tonight. My name is Matthew Donnan, and I'm head boy here at Coldy. Good evening, everyone. My name is Evelyn, and I'm head girl. So to start off, I'm going to talk to you a bit about my experience that I've found at Coldy. I've been here since year seven. I remember when I first joined, I joined with not a lot of other people from my school in my form group, and I was quite nervous. But in the first day, there's so many icebreakers, and you just get to make those so many friends on the first day. And so many of those that I did make, I'm still good friends with now in year 13. So at Coldy, if you choose to join. I know that it can be quite scary and nerve-wracking with a lot of bigger boys around you, but I promise that we are all lovely and we're happy to help out. Um, so with Coldy, I found that there's such a good support team. Me and Evelyn head up the prefect team of over 40 people and all the teachers as well are always happy to help. So I joined Coldy at the start of last year for the sixth form. So it's been quite a recent experience for me coming into the school. The team here at Coldy are amazing. Not only are they reassuring, but they will try to help you in every way they possibly can, whether that's academically or any other part of school life, as well as outside of school. I think this is really important as moving from primary to secondary is a big change and there's lots of newfound freedom as well as having activities outside of just your school subjects. So it's nice to have the support implemented in the school if you do need it. It can also be a very daunting and overwhelming experience. However, anyone who does decide to come here will quickly realise that it really is a lovely environment to be in. I found that when I joined, it wasn't only the teachers that were helpful, but all the students were very welcoming as well. I remember during my first week, I was very lost. I came from quite a small secondary school, so moving to Cordy was a big change for me, and I struggled finding my way around. I remember asking a few girls near above, and it was really nice how warm and friendly everyone was to me which is really one of the most comforting things, especially when moving to a new school. It's quite a similar experience moving from a primary to a secondary school. You move from that smaller environment into a bigger environment, and it can be a really nerve-wracking experience. However, you won't be short of support here. The students, the teachers, as well as the prefect team in, that we have in the sixth form are more than willing to give up their time to help you settle in. Another exciting part of starting your new journey is the level of responsibility that comes with it. This could be anywhere from getting the bus into school in the morning to making sure that your homework's handed in on time or turning up to the right room for your lessons. This can be quite scary because there's a lot of new things that you wouldn't have had to do before. And for me, I found that personally. But the support that is there, there's always a teacher who's happy to help or a member of staff or any, any, anyone in the school, really. Everyone's always very welcoming. And I found that was um, very reassuring when joining such a new thing. Um, a bit of advice I'd like to give is really just throw yourself out there. It's scary to think now that I've got nearly two terms left of school and then I'm done and I'll have been here for seven years. So it does go really fast. Here at Coldy, there's a really extensive enrichment program. Every week, there's over 50 activities that are run. This can be anywhere from football to esports club to a Marvel club and even an Everton football supporters club. So there's um, a large range for everybody. Me personally, I've always really enjoyed getting involved with enrichment. I feel like it gave me a break in between lessons and opportunity to meet lots of new people that I wouldn't have otherwise. For example, they might be in the other side of the year or lots of different year groups. I got involved in choir, band, rugby and a few others, but I think it's a really valuable part of Coldy and how wide it is just shows that a lot of time is put into it and I'd really recommend it. And coming up, I'm going to be being involved with the bar mark trials, so it carries on throughout the school. Um, there's so much to offer here at Coldy, and I'm very grateful for the time that I've spent here. I just really recommend um, that you can go for it. And if you have any questions that you want to ask me and Evelyn about our insights into Coldy life, then um, we'd be very happy to answer any questions at the end. Yes, yeah, so one piece of advice I would give to all new students joining is just be reassured that everyone is going through the same thing. They're all feeling the same way that you do. And don't be afraid to ask questions. Everyone here at Coldy has a voice and we want as many students as possible to get involved in the school community. Hopefully tonight is a good insight for you all and thank you for coming. Thank you. So welcome to Coldy Grange Grammar School. Uh, my name is Stephen Gray and it's my great privilege to be the head teacher here. This address, my fourth address of the night, so hopefully uh, it will go go well. Um, what, can you, what can you expect from, you know, from me and the school? That's what I want to answer in your mind, really, during your child's time here. I'm going to focus on four things. Our values, uh, what makes the school a special place, 
our expectation of students and also the importance of home school relations. There's no long PowerPoint or forensic analysis of our results. I'm not going to show you graphs and charts and whatever. It's about speaking from the heart, really, and relate to you why this is such a special place. We do have that information for those that want more detail about the curriculum and what we do. Uh, the website is being updated all the time, and it has that information on it. So, in terms of being the leader of the school, I always think your beliefs and values are really important in shaping the place that you lead. And certainly, the reading I do on leadership reflects that. And if I had to summarise my beliefs and values. I distill it into these things here. So firstly, I believe in the power of education to change lives. I've seen that in terms of my own experience. Uh, education has got me um, a great life, a great job. Um, and that is through the power of education, of course, parental support too. But by no means, I didn't come from an academic family. Um, my parents were working people and education has enabled me to do what I do and I want to obviously pass that gift on to others and that's really what it's all about. Striving to be the best in everything that we do is also vital. There's no room for complacency. We can always improve and do better and have the highest possible standards at all times. Listening to the school community is important. You, as parents and carers, the students, you are vital parts of this school community. And sometimes I haven't got all the answers or all the solutions to issues. We do get some really good ideas from our school community and it's great to use them and then you know, modify our systems and improve our systems based on that. I believe that everybody matters and diversity and difference are to be celebrated. Every year we take in over 210 students. Our published admission number is 210, but often it is higher than that. They are individuals. They are not an identical grammar school child. You know, they come here with many different talents, many strengths, many weaknesses, and we are here to help students get to where they need to be. Tying in with that, I believe that students should be offered different pathways and support to reflect their personal preferences and life journeys. So, if they are academic and they enjoy science and maths, great. But equally important, if they enjoy creative things, um, you know, uh, practical subjects too, they're all really important. And if that's the journey people want to take, well, we will support them in getting to where they want to be. One of the main things as well, I believe, is that school's here to be enjoyed. It's a very simple belief, maybe too simplistic, but when you think about it in life, we, you know, when you enjoy something, it is half the battle, isn't it? Whether it's your work, whether it's exercise, going to the gym, or even coming to school, if you enjoy it, you know, naturally you'll put more into it and that will lead to success. So the more you can make this an enjoyable place to be, the better. And lastly, the power beyond the of education goes beyond academic study, as I've alluded to before. You know, when you think back to your own education, those of us that have been through the system, it's not often you think of particular lessons being sat there, and, oh, I learned that in that particular lesson 30 years ago. It's those experiences you got through your sports, through your visits to places, going abroad on trips, etc. They're all really important parts of shaping people. So beliefs and values are really critical to us. But what is special about Coldy then? Well, it is a warm and caring environment. It's not a one-size-fits-all place. We do value individuality. Pastoral care here is excellent. Students build a strong relationship with their form tutor, their head of year, and the support staff who make the system run. We have a range of support in place for students, such as counsellors, tutors, and the family liaison officer to support students who are struggling to access school. So we do have that wraparound care here to get the most out of our students. We are always trying to get to the next level, whether that be with examination outcomes, or the experiences and services we provide. The school never stands still. As you all probably know, the school is unique. It served the community for nearly 400 years. Countless students have been through these buildings and then gone on to great things. That is what we want for your child, to write their own history via this school. 
We have a whole network of former students who have been successful in a range of fields. And they recall their time at the school with fondness. And they recognise the role the school played in shaping their own individual success. I always find these experiences and stories humbling to listen to when the students do come back in and pass on that experience to our current students. The school is oversubscribed and is high performing at GCSE and A level. We have a rich and diverse curriculum and an absolute wealth of extracurricular activities for students to try. And these go beyond what other schools offer. I can speak there from experience, having worked in four schools and also working closely with local schools. We really do have a fantastic extracurricular offer in this school. And that's why the vast majority of our students stay here for seven years and not just five years. So we aim to respect our great traditions, but have a modern outlook as we strive to create the leaders of tomorrow. We currently have over 1,500 students on roll. So I realise for young people in primary schools, it is daunting coming to a big place like this. But it doesn't feel big. When I go on duty and walk around the place, it doesn't feel big in that way because we do have that real community ethos. There are 226 in Year 7 currently and over 400 in the sixth form. We offer five different languages here at Coldy, including Russian and the Mandarin Excellence Programme. So we do offer things that other schools don't offer. We've now moved back to a three-year Key Stage 3, so Year 7, 8 and 9. So Year 9 is no longer a GCSE year, as it was in previous years. And that is to give students the core knowledge they need ready for GCSEs. And also to help them make informed choices. I do believe personally, and studies have shown, that year eight is an early time to choose options. And I know that from my own experience, my own son even. You know, what he liked in year eight was very different to what he liked in year nine, ten, and eleven. So year nine is a good year to do the options. We offer 26 A-levels. And we are also moving towards high performance learning accreditation. For those who have children in West Kirby Grammar School, uh, they are a HPL school as well. It's a network of prestigious schools when you look at the website. And it's a two-year journey to get their accreditation. We are in our second year and we are moving towards that accreditation. In terms of my own improvement processes for the school, I can summarise these quite briefly. Firstly, is to build a culture of excellence, tied in what I was saying before, with that belief that everybody um, can achieve and that we have the highest expectations in everything that we do. Also, to train and develop our staff further, we need to modernise at all times, improve our systems, improve our lessons, improve our offer to students. That's what we always aim to do. Also, as well, the key one for me is that everybody achieves. That is a key strand of our school improvement plan. All students, no matter what their background, no matter what barriers they face, Everybody should be able to come to this school and achieve. And they are really the students I look out for. I know from looking at this current year 11 that went through last year, sorry, the, the year 11 um, cohort that finished in the summer, 243 sat GCSEs and many of them did really well. But the ones I always look for are the ones who didn't quite get where they wanted to get. And then thinking, why? What could we have done more there to support that student? So that drive is really important to help all students achieve. So what can you expect if your child comes here? I always describe Coldy as more than a school. There are so many opportunities here. We see education as far more than just academic study. It's about developing the whole child and preparing them for the future, wherever life may take them. It is an academic environment and it's geared towards successful outcomes. By definition, a selective education is academically challenging. To reassure parents and carers and students, anybody who enters this school has done brilliantly well to get here in the first place. And we see it as our job to make sure that they make progress and fulfil their potential. Students need to focus on their own progress rather than be concerned with that of others.
We empathise with self-imposed pressure that students put on themselves. Obviously, when you come to a school with a great tradition and great history like this, with high achievers, it tests people, doesn't it? People are always thinking, oh, that person's brighter than me. Uh, but that's what I always say to students. Everybody has their own strengths and weaknesses. You've got to value who you are. And that really is what we're geared towards. The pastoral support is key there in underpinning everything that we do. The teenage years, as we know, who've been through them uh, in this room, they are formative in our life and there are many ups and downs and we are here to support our students through that. It's a caring school with a really pleasant atmosphere. As the head teacher, I want both staff and students to be happy here and I always seek to improve matters in that wellbeing area. This includes improving facilities. You'll see our new block, the music um, and drama block you may have seen or will see this evening. Uh, we are constantly trying to upgrade our facilities and make it a more pleasant environment to study and work in. What do we expect? We expect high standards in all that students do in relation to classwork and homework and standards of appearance. Punctuality and excellent attendance are important qualities to encourage in life. We ask that students arrive at school ready to learn and equipped for the day ahead. In addition, we have a Coldy Code, which students are expected to adhere to. And this can be summarised as follows. First of all, follow instructions from any staff, teaching and support staff. Have a high standard of uniform and appearance. No mobile phones unless directed by a member of staff. Nationally, the DFE and Ofsted expect schools to have a strong line on mobile phones. Now, mobile phones, we all know, they have great benefits to them, but they are also a distraction and they can be a safeguarding concern. And I know from experience of four schools um, of dealing with issues over 25 years, what challenges they bring. And that is why, for people who question that and think, why do we have such, such policies? That is why we have them in place. They are only to be used when staff direct them. So for example, we have an EduLink app and EduLink basically tells students where they are. It helps them plan their day and in form times, tutors may allow them to look at that and just, just plan their day. That's fine. That is a phone support and education, isn't it? When they're using social media in school, et cetera, or messaging each other, that is not something that we want to happen. So that's why we have such a strict line. Looking after the environment is key. All those small things you've hopefully got from the tone of my speech, small things matter. So I like to keep this site tidy and looking good. So putting that uh, litter in the bin is important. And the last thing in the Coldy Code, probably the most important, is being kind. And that's in terms of bullying, acts of unkindness towards peers, rudeness to staff and prejudicial behaviour. It will not be tolerated in this school. Our strap line is ambition, respect and pride. And these core values permeate what we do. We aim to live by these values. And basically, we want our students to have ambition for themselves and others, respect each other and all staff, the teaching and support staff. Everybody in this building makes this school run. From me as the head teacher, I can't run this school on my own, obviously. I need people teaching lessons, providing food, getting the site ready for evenings like this. It is all one team, and we expect respect across those uh, staff. And also having that pride in who they are as an individual and in representing this school. So as we move to the end, if I may stress the whole homeschool partnership, I would argue that this is fundamental in determining successful outcomes for students. I always believe in clarity in terms of rules and expectations, and I see it as parental responsibility to support the school over such matters. I can relate to this on many occasions throughout my career and can also recall many examples whereby parents and carers were not supportive of the school, and this was counterproductive for the child in question. We do listen to our school community and acknowledge that there can be disagreements. But when it comes to it, the school's decision is final, particularly when it comes to dis disciplinary issues. So overall, this is a school built on high standards. We care for our students and strive to help them reach their potential. We want students to be happy, enjoy school and achieve great things. We want students 
sorry, your child is your most prized possession. And we take the responsibility of nurturing and educating them very seriously. I'm a parent myself to two sons, and I realise what a monumental decision it is to choose that right school for your child. And I hope you feel after this evening that Coldy is the right place for your child. I thank you for joining us this evening, and I hope you find the rest of the evening informative, and I wish you a safe journey home. Thank you.